guys, welcome to a new episode of Nurse Debbie. Now guys, I've been talking to my best friend in the world, Tori. We kind of came up with a little plan. Possibly, I'm gonna do the Monday video more about nursing because I'm a nurse. And I kind of want to share some stuff with you so that you will understand more about my job. I work in California right now. I am a travel nurse. The way travel nursing works is you have to have a residence in another state or actually I think it's like a hundred and uh, like a hundred miles away from your location and uh, you can travel. Now for me, uh, I'm from Texas. So I have all that in Texas, but I also, I work in California. So this is the deal, guys. I get what is called a stipend. A stipend pays for your housing, your food, and sometimes, you know, like your transportation. So basically, when I get a check each week, that stipend covers about, probably about 60% of my check is that stipend. And that is not taxed, guys. It's totally tax-free. So that's really cool. I'm only taxed on the wages I make. And usually the wages are really low and your stipend's higher, which is kind of good. But anyway, that is how travel nursing works. I still, at my hospital, get to schedule myself. Now, if there's too many people scheduled, I'm gonna get floated. Uh, the, the, the staff won't, I will get floated. Um, if the, there's a, you know too many nurses and they need to cancel somebody, I'll get canceled. I can't get canceled more than once in a two week pay period. So that's kind of good. So anyway, that's some stuff. Some of the differences in California though, California, you can only have five patients max. No more than that. Actually, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger was the governor and his wife Maria Schreiber was in the hospital. Maria couldn't get her nurse. She kept trying and trying and her nurse was so busy. She had six patients and she couldn't handle it. Arnold went and wrote the, the new uh, laws here. Only five nurses. And there's a lot of floors that only have four. If you're an ICU, you'll usually only have two. You know, it's stuff like that. My floor, med surge floor, you can have up to five patients. And there's some nights, guys, that I only have four. But for the one night, I had three. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, that's just, you know, you can have, um, you can have up to five patients. Um, what else can I tell you? I get all kinds of patients. I may get somebody that had their gallbladder out or those are easy uh, laparoscopic surgeries where they just put uh, four little holes in you called lap sites. They seal them with a sealant called Dermabond and uh, they usually go home the next day. I get a lot of those patients. Um, but we get some that are just in really bad shape. Um, they have a lot of lines and tubes. Uh, so I do it all, guys. I hang a lot of IVs. Um, I give a lot of meds. Uh, once a night, we pair up in twos and we turn patients. So I turn patients. We all have my hour. Last night it was midnight, which I means I got to pull the pillows out and they were on their backs, which that's the easiest one. Midnight, six. That's what you want because that means back. Um, Anyway, uh, let's see, I get a lunch. I usually take my lunch at 1 a.m. I think it's kind of midway between. My lunch is usually whatever I bring from home. More than likely a bulled egg. I didn't have bulled eggs tonight, so I'm having leftover stew <laughs> for dinner tonight. Um, I, get, I get to work right before seven. I get off closer to 7.30 because they allow for that 30 minute lunch break so you get your full 12 hours. If I work a holiday, my pay is way more, significantly more. Um, so I love working holidays because it, it gets my checkup real quick. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? I love being a nurse. I have been a nurse since 2002. Um, I was an ICU nurse, I was a orthopedic nurse, med surge nurse. I've pretty much done it all. And I love my job now. I did not like it back then. Since I've been traveling, I have loved it. I, I, I just fell in love with nursing. It's a lot of fun. I, I feel comfortable in it. I feel confident in my job. I love my coworkers. My coworkers are amazing here. We, we just have fun. We laugh a lot in the middle of the night. You know, when it's slow, we, we just enjoy each other. So it's a good gig. 
Um, you know, I was telling Tori the other day, I had a patient that had a CBI. Tori's like, what is that? She said, maybe, you know, if you guys have questions about terms or things, you can ask me. CBI, by the way, is continuous bladder irrigation. Person will have a Foley catheter and will have a line with uh, fluids going through it that will constantly flush the bladder. Um, so it's called CBI. And you usually only are one to four on that because you're constantly in that room um, having to change out the bag because it goes so fast, you know? Um, so anyway, I keep looking over here. Is that bad? Do I look over there? It's over there. I don't know. Anyway, I hope I haven't looked the wrong way the whole time. Anyway, but um, I'm recording this in my car before I go in. This, it's right now 622. I don't even leave my car till 640, so I've got some time. Um, I sit in the break room and wait till the time goes off, and then I go in and do my job. Um, there's usually seven or eight of us on the floor with a charge nurse. We usually have four CNAs, which is a uh, nursing assistant. They do most of the toiletry, toiletry things, changing patients, uh, giving them ice water. They do, they do most of that stuff. We do most of the meds and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, um, assessing them and things like that. But anyway, just wanted to give you like a rundown on what I do as a nurse. Um, if it was informative and you like this type of video, um, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm sure I'll have tons of other stuff on this channel, but I wanted to let you know what I do here and how it's different from Texas, which you have six patients and they're really hard. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you'll have something cool. Follow this. We'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, it wouldn't be my video if I didn't make a mistake. I cannot believe I just said that. You do not take a pancreas out. You take an appendix out. In my head, I thought, a, I thought appendix came out of my mouth, a pancreas. You do not do that. <laughs> we take out gallbladders, we take out appendix. So anyway, I'm gonna try to mute me saying that somehow in that video. So if you hear a mute, it's because I said pancreas when I meant appendix. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm sitting here eating my kids' meal from Chick-fil-A, and now I go in in about 10 minutes. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, guys. I know you just saw a video about me being a travel nurse. I wanted to share that with you guys. And now I am on the track. I just got back from Saboba with Brian. We had a wonderful weekend, and he left about 30 minutes ago, and I'm already at the walking track. Um, I am going to walk and run a 5K today. And what I want to tell you guys, it is getting beautiful. Guys, it's gorgeous here. The weather's perfect. It's a nice little breeze. Uh, I talked to my friend Lori, who lives in the Boston area. She said it's starting to warm up there and get pretty. Guys, I want you to understand, walking is literally one of the best things you can do. Just go out and walk. You don't have to walk fast. You don't have to run like I do. You can just walk it. You will lose weight. Guys, look at me. Look at me. I have a waist now. I have arms that you can actually wear sleeveless in. I just dropped two pant sizes. I was in a 14. I'm now wearing a 10 and they are a little bit loose on me. Guys, that has been since January 31st. And today is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. A month and a half to do that kind of transformation to my body is unheard of for me. But I've given up things. I've, you know, and I'm gonna tell you something else. You can cheat every once in a while. I've been on the no cheat zone for all this time until this weekend because I was gonna be with Brian at the movie theater. I was gonna be with Brian with his family. And then I was gonna be at a casino for two days. I did pack boiled eggs. I packed pineapple. I packed blackberries, um, some beef jerky. I packed healthy snacks. But guys, when I went to the movie theater, we got fried pickles and we got pretzel bites. And I ate some fried pickles and I ate two of the little pretzel bites. You know what? It may have cost me a pound. I haven't been on the scale in four days. I have no idea what it's done. Then, 
we went to dinner with his family. I had the short ribs, came with mashed potatoes and carrots. I ate the carrots and I ate a small portion of the, uh, por the um, short ribs. That's all I ate. I didn't eat the dessert. I didn't eat the bread. Um, then we went to Zaboba and we went to the Irish festival. Now at the Irish festival, hang on, I'm gonna run. Sorry, sometimes I gotta get ahead of people. Um, went to the Irish festival and Brian, uh, I, he, they, they ate. I got um, two pickles and I ate my two pickles and they were delicious. Um, but then Brian got this cookie and it had these three balls that had cinnamon on the outside and something in the middle. I didn't know what. And Brian said, this one's for you. And I'm like, I can't eat that. That's flat out sugar. He's like, no babe, just take it. You gotta try it. Guys, I bit into it. It was pure heaven, pure heaven. So I ate the rest of the bite. I still don't know what was in the middle. I have no idea but it was delicious and it was the only thing bad I ate. So I'm okay with that. So little bitty flaws. And if you can get right back on it, that's the thing. A lot of people get down on themselves and they say, you know what, I ate bad. That's it, die is over. You can't do that. When it gets bad, you do bad one day, you got a whole new day to start over. So do that guys, please, please stick with me on this journey. I'm telling you, it can change your life. It's changed my life. Um, you know, to have a guy tell me I'm beautiful, have a guy tell me I look so good. That is such a good feeling to me. And you know, after being single for six years, that is huge. And maybe Brian would have liked me heavy. I think he would have, cause we've been friends for a long time. But it doesn't hurt that I'm thinner. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Get out. Look how beautiful this day is. And it's getting that way all across the country. So grab you some shoes and get outside and walk. Thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you can. And leave me a comment. I will see you Thursday from Vegas. Uh, I will be doing my weight and measurement from the hotel room at Resort Swirl. Maybe my friend Lori will join me on the live for Nurse Debbie at 3 o'clock Pacific that day. And uh, it'll, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys. We will see you on Thursday. Bye, guys.